Another big story tonight, the DA saying no charges will be filed in the death of Peter Spencer. It's a case of self-defense, according to the Venango County DA. Chris Hoffman found out police think drugs may have altered Spencer's behavior. According to DA Sean White, it was a camping trip between Peter Spencer, his friend, and three other people. It ended with Spencer dead, the only person of color, and that's what had a lot of people questioning what happened. We've also overseen this investigation to make sure that there isn't any hate and or bias detected throughout this investigation. And I can tell you right now, there has not been any sort of hate and or bias detected. Police say during that camping trip back in December, everyone was drinking around a campfire. They say Peter Spencer allegedly took psychedelic mushrooms brought by someone else, and then grabbed his AK-47. It was the last 10 minutes where his demeanor escalated to the point of no reasoning, loss of reality, and absolutely no listening to try and de-escalate the situation. Witnesses say Spencer was shooting the gun in the air and then ordered the other campers to get firewood. He's also accused of taking some of the campers keys and phones and at one point ordered one person on the ground at gunpoint. Police say Spencer's friend tried to intervene and that's when Spencer pointed the assault rifle at him. His friend then fired 11 rounds from his pistol, nine of which hit Spencer and killed him. 11 bullets in that gun under a fight or flight type of emotion would have been taken about two to two and a half seconds to be emptied from that firearm. This is not a lengthy amount of time. The DA says the autopsy and interviews with neighbors backed up the camper's stories of self-defense in this case. This is not a case where he was shot once, disabled, and then somebody went on up and executed him after that. Now, according to investigators, there were questions about whether Spencer was the one who brought the AK-47, along with another assault rifle, to the camp. But because of previous investigations by the state attorney general, as well as the ATF involving Spencer, they were able to determine it was his gun. The ATF is, is, is responding to a whole other incident and or active investigation. They were involved far before uh, the victim even came to Venango County. Meanwhile, police say there's still an ongoing investigation into the drugs brought to the camp. According to state police, there could still be charges filed because of the drugs that were in possession of people during this camping trip. In Franklin, Venango County, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News. And just into KDK, a response from Spencer's family on today's announcement. It says, while we disagree with the decision, we are not surprised by it. This is the type of behavior we've seen from the PA State Police and Venango County DA from the outset. The family plans to hold its own news conference next week with Dr. Cyril Wecht. Our web team has been covering this story all day and will continue to add new details and reaction as updates come in. Follow along on KDKA.com or the CBS Pittsburgh app.